Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Today I want to talk about some of the behind the scenes stuff that has come out about J-Hope and Crush on set for the new music video Rush Out. I also want to get into why people are deleting this song from their iTunes purchase and what that's about. And also Hybe seemingly upset over the Busan concert rumors. So hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your Dumplin tea spilling mug merch and let's get into it. I want to start with the Busan concert and then go into the rest. The Busan concert has been facing a lot of issues. But the main and really 99% of the issues that are publicly known is this issue of funding. People have been very concerned over funding and if you know anything about holding an event and that sort of thing, money is the number one contributor to making sure the people attending are safe. So security, you obviously have to pay them and for an event for maybe 100,000 people, you need to make sure you have enough security. But also with 100,000 people, you need to make sure the event can house that many people, which of course is more expensive than an event with only a thousand people. And people were upset to hear that it was initially believed that Busan would be upfronting the cost of everything. So it was estimated that it would cost five million to host the event. And then Busan made a statement to say that they will not pay for anything or more so that they cannot. My issue with this initially was a concern that they could not pay for anything, like even if it was just a portion. And a lot of armies had the same sentiment because it's Busan that really wants BTS to be there. And not only has BTS not reaped any of the benefits of being ambassador, of the country, i.e. also military enlistment, but now they are also financially responsible for whatever Korea wants to do. So of course, ARMY feels like BTS is being taken advantage of. I've announced initially that they will be getting sponsors for the event, but it seemed like the sponsor won't cover the entire cost. HYBE recently made a statement saying that they will be upfronting the remaining cost and that their priority isn't cost, which is what everyone else was scared of. HYBE continues to say that their priority is to serve their country and they really don't care how much it costs. And of course, Hype hosts all these events and concerts so often that they obviously can afford the cost of one free show. I just think that they shouldn't have to. But Hype also continued to talk about the corporate sponsors they've gotten that will cover a good chunk of the cost and that they really do not want to take money from the government as this is taxpayer money, which is definitely something I can see Hype being annoyed by. Like no one had considered that the government money was taxpayer money and Hype was probably sitting at their office. Like if we take their money, then there'll be a backlash of us taking taxpayer money. But now that we're not taking the money, the government gets backlash for their lack of support. But while yes, I believe we should not frivolously spend taxpayer money, but I don't believe this is frivolous spending. This can be the country's marketing budget for the year or whatever. And while HYBE would do a great freaking job at securing a safe and successful show, it would also be very trustworthy and a secure feeling to know that the best government agents and security will be protecting this event. Also given the recent death threats to the members, I would prefer if the government sponsored the event. But more than that, it shows an effort on the government side to support BTS because they haven't. Now BTS has to enlist and not only are they out of pocket millions for this event, they will be out of potentially billions when they enlist. But that's just my opinion on that. I can understand if HYBE is annoyed or mad, but I think everyone else has a reason to be upset at maybe even BTS still agreeing to do it because they think that the government doesn't deserve it. No matter what, BTS is still winning and doing their thing, at the end of the day, they're still doing this for themselves. They've always wanted a free concert. J-Hope recently released his new collaboration. This is with Crush. I am not too familiar with Crush. I think I was introduced to him much later and I knew only about him after the news that was written about him entering the military. So way later in his career for sure. But he is super talented and he seems like J-Hope is such a fan. I do react to the new music video on Patreon. So if you want to check that out or just fangirl with me, make sure you go over there and we can do that together. I'll link my Patreon in the description. Now I'll talk about the music video here in a little bit, but I wanted to get into J-Hope and Crush together behind the scenes. So after the release of the video, it was posted that Crush was on IU's talk show. This was likely filmed before the music video came out, but after the music video was recorded. And Crush talked about how J-Hope was such a big fan and that J-Hope did so much research on Crush and watched all his old stuff. And that shows how humble J-Hope is and that he wants to make sure he knows who he is working with. So many artists will either just work with a popular person and just not do their research because they think that they don't have to. So many artists work with BTS without even knowing the first thing about BTS and the sensitivity around Korean culture. It was also revealed that when J-Hope found out that Crush was doing the promotion for the song and was going to meet with IU, that he sent over treats for all of the staff on IU's set. And this was done with the 
intention of making sure that the staff really appreciates and takes care of Crush. Ayu was one that revealed that. And Crush was more than thankful. He bowed down to J-Hope and ARMY, even though J-Hope is younger. That shows how thankful Crush is. Another sentiment that was shared was quite shocking. It seems like J-Hope would have to have been a forcibly removed offset if they needed to do that because J-Hope was non-stop dancing. It was revealed that J-Hope refused bathroom breaks just to make sure that the dance was perfect and would redo it over and over again and even would tell Crush that J-Hope could do a better take and they could reshoot. Crush then admittedly said that this explains why J-Hope is so successful. People don't get at that level of success that you see BTS has or anyone who has ever become a household name. They don't get there by being lazy. There can be lazy moments but there's a lot of effort put in to get to where they are and the thing that BTS does brilliantly is that they make it look easy. I've watched so much BTS content that it almost feels normal to see dancing that synchronized or vocals that good while dancing but when you start to watch a lot of other groups you'll see how much they mess up at times and how they sometimes can't hit the same notes and also you realize how hard BTS songs are to sing and they do it live while dancing and this is why they're successful. Armies of course are a big part of this. They can be as talented as they are but if for some reason no one supports then it all goes to waste and they are thankful to this fandom they have. One of the most awesome things armies do is set view goals for music videos. This song with J-Hope and Crush, the goals were never official and official fan clubs I have not seen them do goals because they think it's unrealistic and even requesting people to delete their new goals as they don't want to put out unrealistic goals. I think with Arson it didn't hit the goal that the fan clubs made. I could be entirely wrong and if I am please roast me. But because of that some people were worried that there might not be a point to do goals with this feature. However some people were unofficially doing it anyway and doing like a 10 million views in 24 hour goal. And this is definitely possible. There were obviously other goals as well. Since BTS is not lazy, the fandom is not lazy and we all do the most to support. It was believed that the iTunes purchase counts on Billboard. I also believe this to be true. And of course, album purchases on Weavers. And someone broke down the instructions on how to do it. I'll pop this up on screen. I do not use iTunes at all, so I cannot confirm any of this and have no idea what Apple ID or anything like that is. I don't really use any Apple products. But in these instructions, they all say the same thing of deleting your purchase from the Apple Music Library thing and then from that point you'll be able to stream and have the stream count. I don't know. My thoughts on this is just that double check and you can even contact iTunes to see what you can do unless this is like a loophole thing. But since this has become such a big practice, like people deleting their purchase, I would imagine iTunes would have changed this and this would make it not work anymore. But I just wanted to share that and if anyone is more familiar with iTunes or anything like that, let's have a debate and talk about it and we can inform each other. Obviously this stuff isn't as Googleable as I don't even think this is something iTunes specifically advertises you can do to support an artist. But what do you think? How do you feel about J-Hope not wanting to leave the set even to go to the bathroom? Hi, but maybe being mad at the rumors and people deleting their iTunes purchase. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.